Hey church, a few days ago I was walking through the park and I was just observing everybody practicing social distancing. I mean, everybody was giving everyone a wide berth. And that was just from our assumption that some people may be contagious. Could you imagine the distance that we would give people that we knew were contagious? You know, that made me think of someone in scripture that probably would give everything that they have in order to experience the social distancing that we're experiencing right now. And that's because their world was much more harsh and severe. In Matthew chapter 8, Jesus encounters a leper. A leper is a contagious outcast. They had no social rights and they lived on the outskirts of town. And this leper, when they learned that Jesus was coming through their village, they cried out, Lord, if you're willing, I know you can make me clean. Look at Jesus' response in Matthew chapter 8, verse 3. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Jesus not only heals this man, but look at his first response. He reaches out and touches him. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I was the son of God, I would have practiced social distancing. I would have healed this guy from like 50 feet away. But that's not what Jesus does. Why? Because he's trying to make a statement. You see, in their cultural context, someone who was ceremonially clean like Jesus, someone who could enter a temple and freely worship, if they were to reach out and touch an unclean person like a leper, they too would become defiled. And they would have to go through a process of being able to become clean again. But that's not what happens. Jesus is declaring an aspect of who he is when he touches the leper. Now the pure can touch the impure and the impure will become cleansed. And that's Jesus' desire, my friend. Jesus desires to touch the unclean. Not just those with physical ailments, but also those with wounds and sins on the inside. Those who need help in places that no doctor can touch. And Jesus wants to touch you as well. And that has massive implications. Because now in this season of quarantine, not only is it a blessing to know the Jesus who's the source of our physical healing and protection, but we also know the Jesus who can reach in and touch and heal you on the inside in the inner person. So make use of your time at home. Ask Jesus to search your heart. Ask him if there's any pre-existing conditions in terms of past wounds or things that have been done to you. Ask him to heal you. Ask him to give you the ability to forgive others. Maybe there's even an area of life that you've been running from God. Maybe an area of life that you're struggling in. Ask for forgiveness. Ask him for the ability to be able to repent and turn from that way of living. Ask Jesus to touch you. Whatever it is that you're going through, Jesus is much more than an amazing God who is our healer. He's also the God who comes in and purifies and heals the inside of you. But we have to do what that leper did that day, and that's cry out and ask Jesus to cleanse us. See, church, don't make it a goal just to survive the quarantine of 2020. I pray that you would desire that Jesus would transform you during it. God bless you guys.